guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna try out a cold brew maker that I found on Amazon this is another Amazon item review uh, this one I saw a lot of people making coffee videos like how to make their favorite iced coffee basically all different ways to make your own coffee at home so I thought I would show you guys how I make my coffee and then also review this cold brew thing. So of course I had to wear my coffee shirt. I think I got this at Target, but it says coffee, lots of coffee. I don't really know how to say it, but I think it's called Cusinium. Um Cold Brew Coffee Maker. And I'm gonna post a picture of it right here with the um, little Amazon image of what it looks like and stuff. Um, you don't need a cold brew maker or whatever. You can pretty much use whatever jar you have at home and um, use like a, some kind of filter to filter the coffee. But I wanted the pitcher so that I could just make like a really big pitcher of iced coffee for the week and not have to worry about it. So I thought this was really cute and I saw Carly Steele um, use this same one. I think it was the same one or it looked pretty much like it. If you guys want to see me try out this item, then keep on watching. So first of all, I just want to show you guys my little table setup. It's so cute. My aloe vera plant, that's just been there forever so I wasn't going to move it even though it doesn't really like go with the Christmas decor, but this is really cute. Um, pine cones, I've had those forever and I've had this little vase thing forever i think i got it for a party or something but this i got in like the little dollar or three dollar section at target and it was already rolled up like this you can like unroll it and make it however you want but i just thought that was cute i decided not to burn a christmas candle today i'm burning this one that smells so good oh my gosh i love the teak wood scents at um Bath and Body Works and this is the white barn which is like their little I don't know their little line on the side or whatever but it's so cute and it smells amazing it smells like a man's cologne okay so I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna see how it looks inside lots of bubble wrap pretty sure that the bottle is glass so Okay, so I had to take a little break to get the baby situated, but this is the picture that it comes with. It's um, glass, and it's got this little top, Ooh, stainless steel top, and then it has a little handle that pulls out and pulls the little filter out. So that's pretty cool. And then this piece of the top comes out and it just makes it in a regular picture. And so here's a little instructions. And let's see what else was in the box real quick. So this must be the little scooper. Yeah, so this is Okay, this is kind of cool. It's a scooper and a clip. I don't know if I like this or not. Because, okay, so it's cool that you can clip your bag closed with it, but then you're gonna have to wash this every time because it's just sitting out getting dusty. So yeah, still cute idea. The thought was nice. So I'm gonna go wash these really quick in the sink and we'll be right back. Okay, so my stuff is washed. Um, I'm not gonna dry it because it's fine, but um, everything is washed. The steps to make the cold brew, put the coffee in the filter. Step, step, step three, fill the pitcher with water. Step three. Is he serious? 
Fill the pitcher with water through the filter. Use room temperature or cold water. And then also it says keep the pitcher of coffee in the fridge for 12 hours at least. So we're gonna put this little stopper in. And then I'm gonna put this in. This goes in here. And then I'm gonna take my coffee grounds. And this must be a tablespoon or whatever it was saying. This is all filled up to the line with water. You can see a lot of little coffee grounds in there. So I'm not really sure how this is gonna turn out, but we shall see. So I'm just gonna put this in the fridge and we'll check on it in the morning. So this is the cold brew. It's 120. It's been about 22 hours in the fridge. So I'm going to take this off. And so when I filled it up to 1500 milliliters before, once I took out the coffee, it brought it down to 1250. So I grabbed this creamer that I've been seeing people use, and I also saw a commercial for it. It's the Starbucks Creamer in Caramel Macchiato. And they didn't have it at Walmart. I found it at Bel Air, um, Bel Air or Rayleigh's. So I got my glass with some crush ice in it and then I'm gonna pop the little top and I'm gonna put some in want to do a little taste test with me sure oh my god I look like I have like no eyebrows or something because of the lighting but Mmm, that's really good. And you know what? That creamer is bomb. It tastes, it really does taste like a caramel macchiato from Starbucks. Wow. It's good, huh? It's really good. Oh my gosh, and he's about to break my feet. No, no, no. Sorry, say sorry. What, you want my little picture? I bet you do, huh? Crazy. All right, guys, so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Overall, I think the cold brew maker thing was pretty good, but make sure, make sure that you don't ground your coffee beans too finely. Make them kind of like a rough, larger ground really good coffee at home so don't forget to like and subscribe bye bye you guys this is my coffee using the um french press coarsely ground coffee that i got at safeway and it looks so good and i tried it and it's a lot better than when i used the finely ground coffee